those dang NPCs. <coughs> They're always messing around. So we have to go to the moon. Uh, yes, we have Dude, to. Dude, go... is one of the levels the moon? How did you know? Oh, all right, spoilers. So we're gonna head back to. Um, like, it's all these points in history, and one of them is literally Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin walking on the moon. And then you're gonna get chased by Scissor Man. No, nah, they're, they're not all specific like specific points in history, unfortunately. Uh, so when you walk in here with the winding keys, it, sh what? it Wait, shows what? you uh, that this has to be turned to 3 p.m. I hope I have this memorized. If not, I apologize. I'll have to look it up. Alright, so... I think it's left... Right, left, and then two rights. This looks this looks correct. There's like a way yeah. to figure it out based on of off of whatever. You're but good. okay, cool. Uh, like I guess pressing it left moves it back a right. certain amount yep. of times. But nah, I'm not about that. Also, isn't there in Eternal Darkness a clock-based puzzle? Yes. Huh. And it's almost exactly like... It's just weird how these games came out so... Like, there's no way that Eternal Darkness could have came out and then Clock Tower was like, Scrap everything! Put a clock puzzle on it! Like, there's just no way that it would have done that. But it's still amazing how well, it ended so, that way. There's a ton No, of here's parallels. what... Here's probably what happened. <laughs> Somebody on the early team left and went to another thing to try to, like, so, beat it to, like, whatever. Yeah. So what this is telling me <laughs> is when you see this uh, symbol down here, you use Holy Water... Nice. Twice. Nice. And it becomes a portal. I love it. Yeah, like I said, this is a really interesting game. I, uh, if you had to make me choose Eternal Darkness or this, well. It, yeah, it, I mean, Eternal I'm, Darkness. Is I'm like choosing Eternal Darkness. I feel but. like this is a combination of, uh, of Clock Tower and Onimusha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, like the, the controls and the walking around and everything, it all feels that Originally way. going into this, I was like, not really excited, because I was like, man, this game just kind of like, not that it's, I never thought it sucked, but I was always like, it's just so average. But honestly, like, it's frustrating, don't get me wrong, but like, I'm much like, happier with it playing it now, like, it's like a solid, like, if you're gonna give it like an out of ten, like, it's, if, if it didn't have the utterly annoying parts of, like, having to have the, uh, um, having your fear meter go up automatically, which right, I think is super right, bogus. Right. It, I'd give it, like, an 8.5 or something like that, but, like... Yeah, because, like, clearly, like, there's gonna be, and there's gonna be more where the guy yeah. jumps out, and, but like, it's, you have no thing. It's still, make. like, a solid, like, 7.5. That was the easiest one ever. <laughs> no, this, this is for later. Oh, I thought it was, like, here's your teddy bear. Nah, Man, I should, even though we did Eternal Darkness, it's been so many You should years. do the second part. I was thinking about that the other day. I was like, you know, after this, I'm just going to be like, yo, Trev, I'm doing the uh, whatever. But I think when we did Eternal Darkness the first time, it was just me, you, and Brandon. <laughs> and I kind of remember that we had, like, some weird guests sometimes. But I don't think Parker or Ben were. Yeah, I definitely It like might have been just, like, whoever was, like, there. Like, one of our one-timers, like, Travis... Frybarger, or just something I, I weird like that. I sworn that, like, Dominic was... Oh, it might, it might have been. It might have been. Back before we had the, the crew yeah, set. it's actually been several years since that, so maybe, like, if we're still... So, there's there. a lot of cutscenes coming up. Definitely. Just, do it, Trev. Do it. Yeah, Eternal Darkness is, like, a top ten game for me. Like, I don't want to, like, great. redo games that we already did, but I think that game... But you can do, if you have somehow the uh, save file... You can do the next oh, yeah. one. yeah. I could do, like, the final, like, file. The fourth file. What That's actually a really happening? good point. Who are you? So it might look very dark on your screen. It's dark on our what screen, too, so don't worry. Are his eyes bleeding? Yes. What's that? What's that? What's going on? It all will be explained probably next week, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you're sicker next week. It'd be great. Sorry for the coughing, guys. I know it takes away from everything. Yep. It's almost like we shouldn't be playing. Zero out of ten. So that was a cutscene, but can I tell you, can I tell you something? This is also a cutscene. Wow! Walks around corner cutscene. Love that Resident Evil walk. Clunk, clunk. 
I just like how, like, because it's PS2, it wasn't able to, like, it had to go in literally into the FMVs. Right, right. Like, it couldn't, like, just, like, go through. Also, something's wrong with her they eyes, both too. have... Oh, gosh, this is already sad. Dude, the whole game is so sad. And literally five minutes ago, it was that silly Dennis part. Yeah. So, Woo! like... Oh, you know, I've changed a lot since primary school, too. Uh... Uh, so we're both blind, and the reason is very, very sad, and we'll find that out, like I said, probably next week. We'll see. Oh, but... But it's all just sad. Everything's sad. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Poltergeist. Jeez. Oh, my gosh! So they kind of use as fight a poltergeist. They kind of use as an excuse that you can't walk in that door because you, of course, have to go the whole way around. So watch this real quick. You see this? Where you look at this, and you're like, a painting has been hung here. It's all crooked though. Maybe I should straighten it. Guess what she doesn't do? She doesn't straighten it. And you know what you have to do? You know what you have to do? <coughs> you have to go through this whole level to realize that you have to straighten it. You can't just straighten it? You can't just... You'll uh. see. You might see this part. That might be the part where I end. We'll see. So that's the ghost for the uh, for the mom. And she'll just annoy you the whole time. Unless, of course, you just instantly run up. Which we will. So this, this is... <sighs> in some parts, it's my favorite stage. And in some, it's, it's like my least favorite. Like, it's... Technically the smallest, but it's also like laid out pretty neat. So Albert's Diary, Albert's the guy you just saw. Percy from the bakery gave me the name of a good optometrist in London. It's been seven years now since Mum lost her sight. And though she tries to appear cheerful, it's difficult to watch her grow old. Perhaps the doctor can do something to help her. It will be expensive. I wonder if my savings will be enough. Well, it's all sad. Yesterday, a relative of ours named John Hay came asking if he could uh, stay with us. He was very cordial, but I couldn't help thinking there's something calculated about him. I said as much to Mother, who scolded me for judging a book by its cover. I suppose she's right. Blood is thicker than water, as they say. I have been hearing strange noises late at night for the last three days or so. I've heard that a team of burglars has been striking homes in the area. I must remember to lock the, all the windows and doors at night. Well. We might hear more about this John Hay soon. Oh, that's right. This is later. It's the uh, locked toolbox. So this is my favorite puzzle in any game ever. There's a moonflower. It looks like it's been turned. Let's turn it towards the moon. Oh, nice. It's my favorite puzzle ever. <laughs> Moves the whole bed? I know, right? Dang, that's some hydraulics. Oh, yeah. <coughs> they... I'm assuming that this is also back then, like, the 40s or something like that, because, like, they're just all kind of dressed like that, yeah. and there's no, like... I, I, I forget if there's, like... Well, electricity was obviously in the 40s. I'm going to guess... 20s through 40s. They don't tell you exactly. Is there electricity? Oh, yeah. So, we got the kitchen key. Damn it. Get that F out of here. Alright. We got the half heart pendant, which is important because. I love that sound effect. Alright, isn't that great? So. We're going to head over here to, like I said, this isn't a big stage. You have the kitchen right here. We're going to go in, and there's going to be more sadness. Now, this is this is another part where I feel Silent Hill 4 really, really, really borrowed from this game. If you remember correctly, there was parts in Silent Hill 4 where... Uh, let me read this first. Uh... Found very important clue to Rand's murder. We'll go back to house to investigate and gather info. Got a feeling about this. A newspaper clipping is sandwiched between the pages. Serial killer Hay meets Grizzly N, the guy we just read about. Oh, 62. John Hay, the serial killer on the run since last year, has been found dead at the metal plating works. This is great. Hay is held responsible for the cold-blooded murder of several uh, pensioners who will be robbed right. before placing their bodies in a container. So clearly, oh. he went to the this the like this like lady's house and was like, right. "I'm your relative." Yeah. And yeah. Thus disposing of the elements, so sulfuric acid. The acid used in the crimes was stolen, leading the police to believe factories in the area with stocks of sulfuric acid under surveillance. The suspect appeared at a plating factory in Horsham, and a struggle ensued. Hasing lost his balance and fell from a platform into a vat of acid, Ooh. ironically meeting the same end as his victim. So it's like the killing joke. So he's gonna be like a he's gonna be like a melted dude. So at this point, you would like get to the point where you have no idea what you're doing. Right. 
So you're back out here. First, we're gonna give this this half heart pendant, and uh, <coughs> so you're like you would literally not know like where to go or what to do, right? And you would just walk around in circles and be like, I, I have no idea what's going on. And it's kind of BS, but kind of ingenious in that you literally just head towards the exit. And when you head towards the exit, the fact that you like open the kitchen, I think is the, I think is the clearance for it. You get a cutscene where you see your mum. Oh, that's her mom. <laughs> hey, normal mum. Mum, how come you're transparent? <laughs> oh, get it? <laughs> Parent? Whoa. And, uh, so that shiny thing was not there earlier, and they make it obviously very obvious that it's like, okay, what am I doing here? I'll pick this up. So we get Dick's desk key. Where do you use Dick's desk key? You go back to the uh, main place. So again, it's kind of like Eternal Darkness and kind of like Silent Hill 4, where like you, Silent Hill 4 does it famously in a really hard forest stage where you have to just leave. And then when you go back to your, your apartment, you're like, wait a minute, I have this thing that I can take over there. Right. It's chocolate milk in the fridge for what it's worth. <laughs> I, I love Silent Hill 4, even though I hate it. I would watch someone speed run that all day, but I would never t touch the damn game myself. All right, so we're gonna head over t to uh, Richard's room, which unfortunately is this. This part's pretty stupid. Is uh, all the way downstairs, so you have to go all the way downstairs and then all the way up here. Pretty great. What's that? Yeah, really. it's the music. Just I'm not gonna open this no because reason. because that uh, triggers a cutscene. That triggers a cutscene where a ghost comes out, and I don't want to do that yet. This music makes it sound like you're being chased. Yeah, yeah so I gotta be honest, I mostly played this on pretty low volume, so I never even heard this music. And uh, this is this is hella music. This There's is like Turbo uh, Eternal <laughs> Darkness right now. There's like no bad guys at like there's nothing that would appear here, but they certainly make it seem like that. <laughs> That's exactly like Eternal Darkness. Yep. So we're going to head over here. I think what we're going to do is we're going to do everything in this mansion and then get back to the main place and then save and that'll be it. That'll probably take me through those last 10 minutes. <coughs> so we Say get we get the the desk key. The tome or the entity second. In order to defeat a subordinate, the murdered soul which acts as its energy source must be healed to instigate the healing process a sentimental item like the watch we found belonging to that person must be obtained if and when the item has been found the rooter power is boosted temporarily the rooter por portal square appears and within is found the sacred weapon necessary so they're literally explaining like i had what the just i had the pocket watch which is why i was right. able to fight him with that crazy thing yeah it, what a coincidence was there a possibility that you could have walked into that no, Boss because without the no, because it, it just never would have. It never right, would have started. Right, it's like weird. Like that's like why even bother. So this is a hard puzzle. <laughs> that's a creepy. <laughs> it certainly is. And wouldn't you know? Oh, hello, Eternal Darkness. I know, right, dude? There's so many. <laughs> uh, now that I've played both of them, there are so many coincidences. For it's kind of like Guitar Hero and Rock Band came out at the same time. Um. But, yeah, so the whole reason we came back here is to get this, uh, film. Oh, and, a, and some writing. Uh, we have to actually listen to him talk. The ruder who battled the entities <coughs> are scattered all over Europe. We, the Hamiltons, are also of ruder stock. Of this lineage, I am proud. The ruder so if you haven't figured this out yet, she's a ruder. My wife, Francesca, Wait, what? Was I know, right? I didn't see that Whoa. My naive youth. I did not oh. believe any <laughs> The camera and was so subtle that I'm like, yeah. what is that? Preferring to believe that it was all just an old wives' tale. But then I found the book of entities. And Nancy began to sharpen her power. I finally opened my eyes to the truth and began my research into the subject. I like how you you just leave. Oh, so it's after 84, then. The root of powers first appeared in a young woman's early teens, at peak age 15. The powers then gradually diminish, usually disappearing entirely by the age of 20. 
good generation uh, get weird. We age know the Hamilton clan. Yeah, it's like you're only helpful to this cause from 15 to 20. When you have the least experience and you're the most ruled by Mormons. Yep, great. Sounds good! Nancy is already 18. The root of power is outdwindling rapidly. It's more like 15 to 20. So let's see. Yeah, uh, really, it's dwindling rapidly at 18. We Hamiltons think of our root of blood. Something of which to be so, 84, Alyssa wasn't born yet, so if, this game probably takes place literally in 02, because he's talking about, like, oh, she has to get married and, and have a kid. I mean, she did have a fancy computer. I thought you already said 04. 02 is when the game came out, so I'm going to assume present day. Oh, here we go. I think he talks about Alyssa being born. Yeah, there we go. So, 15, yeah, 2002. There we go. Also, 88, great year to be born. Yo, question of the part, 1998. Well, no one that old's watching this video, are they? No. They're having families and doing fun stuff. This is fun. We're fun. China's still cool. All right. Jeez. Jeez. Her us, obligation. Us 80s kids, huh? So, like, literally... A ruder family. Literally... So... I am a Ruta. People should be, like, these girls, these it's women should be daughter. having babies at, like, 15 so that the next generation of Ruder can get old enough fast enough. Otherwise, there's, like, 10, 20 years when, like, there's nobody protecting I mean, them. Well, like, I guess I guess once the girl becomes 18, she just keep having kids and then, yeah. like, hope that, like, they're all girls, you know? I was about to say, it's just, you should have a million kids forever. And then, like, if it's, like, two, three years apart, then maybe there's, like, a two-year time span, there's not a rooter, and all these, like, spirits just go around just killing everyone. Dude, I mean, it kind of is what it is. So, we're heading up near the end of the part. I'm gonna head back to, um... The main world. I'm gonna. I kind of want to. Sh we'll see. I kind of want to show you what the bad guy of this one looks like, but I might not. We'll see. You're gonna beat him soon. This music sounds like he's about to pop out. All right. So, so this out of jump. all out of all the bad guys, this is this this world two is the weirdest one because it has so much to do with um. It, you do so much before you meet the bad guy that the bad guy really is not like I'm halfway done with this world already. And we haven't even met the bad guy. Right. We do so, know that he's going to be melty. Melty. Because of the sulfuric yeah. acid. Or all gross, like, uh... Not necessarily, but maybe, like, wearing stuff that would, like, sim like simulate that, like, you work at one of those plants or whatever. Oh, so it's pre-falling in the acid. Yeah. Just like the, just like the one guy was, like... No, the other guy was after because he had the executioner's hood on and oh, it was covered right. in blood. So that was after death. So. Ah, I can't really explain that one. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to save right here, and we're just going to go a couple more minutes, because I, have, I do have refill. a couple more minutes. Refill! Son of a gun. <laughs> you better remember to refill after you... I th There is another save point, like, very close, and I'm thinking I can get into, get to it in the next four or five minutes. So that's that's the hope right here. I do, I do kind of want to show this guy off. Uh, refill! You happy? Yes. Yes. Because no, you would be like, this never happened before. True. Oh, wait, that's right. It's over here. Wasted time. Rip. All right. Well, so here's the good the part. Here's the good well, look news. Look at that reflection. Love I it. Know. Do the water? Uh, there's there's a point in this game where the water graphics are like phenomenal. So luckily we can head back in here since we unlocked it and we can literally go straight to this guy. Give him the well use the uh, film on him. <laughs> Why? I, because it automatically gives us pictures, and also he's happy because that's a sentimental oh, did item. Did you, did you like, reveal that he wanted pictures? Oh, was there pictures by his box? No. No, like you, I just put the film in and it shows the pictures. No, but like. So this shows you. This shows oh, right. you what he Put what he looks the, like. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Does he have like a gas mask on? Yeah. Okay. And then here's a photograph that's very important. You had to do all ah, this ah, to see the picture to, to see because you wouldn't it wouldn't tell you otherwise. Like forget about Unbelievable. it. Unbelievable. Forget about it. All right. Like you wouldn't just like fix it because you're like, oh, it's crooked. Let me she says literally. It. She like it'd be Someone different. Someone shouldn't fix it. It'd be different if it was like if it said like, okay, well, I have no time for this, right? But it's like maybe I should fix it. It's like hmm. Oh, if only I would have fixed this. Oh, and she doesn't even fix it. I know. What? <laughs> A horrible person. Everything's Alyssa deserves to die. 
Alright, so this is where we meet the guy up here. We're still doing pretty good on time, so... <coughs> We're gonna head in and have a good time. And be sad. You ready to be sad? We're always sad. <coughs> Albert? Hey, Albert? Mother, I'm doing I told you you shouldn't be around outside by yourself. I came to tell you that dinner's ready. And I told you that you don't need to be worried about me. Your old That's how I walk. Dicky eyes, but she's not a very nice lady. Dicky eyes! That's how I talk you to You just concentrate on your work. Anyway, what is it you're making this time? Some new toy that'll have the local kids a gog, I bet. Actually, I've been busy making this. It's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Winter's coming, and I don't want you catching cold. I hate, wandering around I hate this game story so much, it's so nice fucking sad. sad. But it's like, he's a, clearly a woodworker, it's like, what have you made? I knit you it's a scarf. Lovely. What? So warm and Ow. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> 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 I remember this guy. Oh, burned his eyes out. Wow! Like, that part is just like... Every single one of these, when you meet them, it's like very like quick, but that is like the most brutal. Where you're just like, oh, I'm so happy to be a lot better. <laughs> so she was already blind, so she can't even leave. And he's just like... Yeah, screw your toys, too. And he breaks the toys. Also, I, I, he should show him ripping the this, this, this shawl. Oh, yes! Yep. Jeez. All right, so we, with the clue, you got to go to the, the basement or whatever. <laughs> the sewer to get the thing. Hey, good point. I didn't think about that the first time, but that is what happens. First, we gotta get rid of him, which is pretty easy to do if I remember how to do it. Oh, yes. So, this game does not mess around. I like how you're stuck in a corner. That's cool. <laughs> He just... Dude, great boss battle! That's gotta be record time, right? I'm literally gonna head right, right back, back in! in. <laughs> That's the best. I love when I, wanted, I wanted to get this. Thank you. And I want to check this room. I think it has an item, too. Not like a key item, but just like a thing. Uh, or am I wrong? I am correct. Oh, so it is actually... Right, so I have to head back to the toolbox. Um, let's go ahead and bear with me for two. We're gonna go two minutes past uh, ending time, guys. I know it's the worst thing in the world. So I'm gonna save right here. As uh, people don't know what time it is, they're watching. I'm, I'm talking. I'm talking to you two. You're talking to Trevor. Sorry, Trevor. I live here. I have nowhere to go. <laughs> Parker's just gonna be like, I just, just, I just finish playing this game right now. Falls asleep. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're gonna head to the toolbox, which is right upstairs here. Hopefully, we don't see him, but if we do, it's not a big deal. We have that backup safety safe. In fact, you know what we are? He's going to be right around this corner. Whoa! That's ridiculous. Like instantaneous full bar. Isn't it cool? Like, like this game would be great if it wasn't for just that. Like, I get it if you mess up. What the hell? I totally get it if you mess up, but like... Well, at least the lavender water is still working. Hot, hot, hot! hot. So, this will actually work out perfect. We want to head up here. It'll be not super close to us. Good. We're going to use the toolbox key. Uh, that is not correct. That is oh my correct. gosh. I know. The funny thing, so you need to do all that to get this. This It's like kind of silly brilliant the way this game's set up. And then we're going to go down here where right. you can't necessarily follow us. What? To what? Take the grate off? To go into the sewer? Yeah. Nice. 
I like the ladder that goes. Down. Also, I, think I love that she here. stops to clean. I herself. think I think he shows up like right here. Yeah, I thought so. Here. Good. There she is. <laughs> <laughs> is he gonna say hot? Why is she just holding it? She makes a point if you look at if you look at that. <laughs> it's really really hard to see. There we go. Sorry, it was it was hard to see at that angle. She makes a specific point if you look at that before you use that. She's like, what is this doing in this time period? Like, she literally like, uh, says that. <laughs> so, yeah, this is perfect. This Wait, is wasn't that supposed to be the 60s? I mean, fire extinguishers. Did they have 60s. standard fire extinguishers like that? Yeah, I guarantee you they had. So, we're going to call this a part. Uh, I got pretty much exactly where I wanted to go. Uh, next time, we will fight this guy, and we'll see... We'll see the the most lame boss, and then the most lame bosses. Hint, 1818, hint. the 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 <laughs> CO2. You fire know what? You know what? Whatever. 1818. See you next time. <laughs> <laughs>